Cerebrat, you watched over me during my incubation, and I am grateful to you. It is my wish that you continue your vigil, so that I might strengthen my powers to better aid the Swarm. I have been unable to access the totality of my latent powers, and as such, I would like to infiltrate a Terran science vessel and uncover the secrets of their abandoned ghost projects. If I can learn more about their mental conditioning, I can undo the damage their tinkering scientists have done to my mind. Though you be the favored servant of the Overmind, you would do well to remember that you are just a servant. You know of our grand mission, Kerrigan. Would you put your personal whims before the will of the Overmind? Do not cross me, Zalas. I will do as I see fit, and not you or any other Cerebrate shall stand in my way. Let her go, Zaz. The greatness of her spirit has been left to her, that the swarms might benefit from her fierce example. Fear not her designs, for she is bound to me as intimately as any Cerebrate. Truly no Zerg can stray from my will, for all that you are lies wholly within me. Kerrigan is free to do as she desires. By your will, Overmind. Cerebrate, you must see that she comes to no harm. <laughs> Cerebrate, take these, the deadliest of my minions. They shall aid you in your search. Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Starcraft and I mustn't make a tentacle joke about being bound intimately to the Overmind. Oops. Uh, what a great way to start off this video. Anyway, we are doing the Zerg version of the Seek and Find mission, i.e. we can't build any units, we can only find them. And this is basically a mission to get you used to Sarah Kerrigan. Uh, at least in her current Zerg form rather than the ghost form. And... For some reason, which I never quite understood after her infestation, Kerrigan is still capable of cloaking, just as she was when she was a ghost. She's also capable of totally disobeying orders. And she now has a claw attack, which deals 50 damage, or 53, considering that everything is 3-3 upgraded here. Now, with our forces we've got here, we have two hunter killers, so we're already way ahead of the game because yes. they're 3-3 three, three hunter killers as well. So they really are, as Dagoth was saying, they really are the deadliest possible minions. However, Kerrigan is perfectly capable of going through this mission on her own with a little bit of um, handling, shall we say. Uh, she is, um, we can just make a cloak, she can one-shot pretty much all infantry units, uh, so bang, yeah. one-shot, bang, and this is going to be the, uh, you know, she's not quite Edmund Duke level of kill everything in one go, but, well, when he said that though, she probably is, she does almost as much damage, um, in fact, she does exactly the same damage, but uh, if it weren't for the fact that Duke gets more damage per upgrade. Oh yeah, you call for help. It's going to help you. Um, but yeah, Kerrigan is... After this mission, Kerrigan gains uh, more abilities because she's able to undo. As she said, her mind was damaged by the ghost conditioning. So she's able to access the totality of her potential power. And since Kerrigan was probably, if not the strongest, one of the strongest Terran Psychonics anyway, yes. um, she is unreal strong now as far as the uh, yes. Psy rating goes. She has a... the Terran Psy rating goes up to 10 and she is a 10. Uh, additionally, I believe Nova is a 10 if you're um, familiar with that character, and she's also. Um, she is also. Uh, there's also another one as well that I can't quite remember. Uh, here we go. Love tap. Boom! Just a, little, just a little hit on the butt there. There you go, and another one. 
Um, so I'm going to let Kerrigan play with these uh, Goliaths for a minute. Now, as I said, that was as a human that Kerrigan had a uh, psi rating of 10. I believe they had to rejig the scale just because of her. Um, as a Zerg, she is like a couple of orders of magnitude more powerful than she used to be. So she is very, very, very seriously, uh, very, very seriously powerful. And uh, we have to watch out for her. Uh, I don't think the, uh, you know, the abilities don't quite come through like they do in, say, Heart of the Swarm or something like that. In a way, it's fairly obvious when someone's using a psychic ability because their eyes are glowing. But that particular little uh, slightly against the laws of physics kind of thing has been ignored here. And uh, Kerrigan just is Zerg and can use brain power or mind bullets whichever way you want to put it uh, so she's got a hundred energy left this is this mission's mainly about uh, stealth more than anything else um, and patience to tell you the truth you'll notice the video is only about 20 minutes long I have cut out a lot of waiting and that waiting is mainly waiting for Kerrigan's cloaking energy to come back. Uh, I think what they did in, uh, again, what they did in StarCraft 2 where they removed energy for cloaking, I think they did for many things. They were just like permanently cloaked or not cloaked. Uh, certainly for many of the hero units, they started permanently cloaking stuff. I think that that... Uh, it takes away some of the skill, but it also takes away some of the tedium when you're doing missions like this, because this this sort of thing can be super tedious if when you have to wait around. And let's face it, I think that every time I wait, and I'm going to duck into this hole and wait yes. now, it's, uh, it's going to take five minutes for her energy to come back. You know, that's just not fun. But at least it's okay for you guys, because you don't have to watch it all. You know, I think both uh, Nova and uh, others are permanently cloaked in uh, later. So it's but not for this. Uh, so, but Kerrigan's upbringing on the hot... I mean, to be honest, you'd think that, you know, surely there's some of a humanity left because her memories are there. Well, the problem is that Kerrigan does not really have much to fondly look back on as far as her uh, humanity goes. Um, let's just say as part of her training, um, you know, during her upbringing, she killed her parents with, uh, with a psionic accident. Um, she then, oh God, detectors, detectors, smack them. She then basically had her academy instructor threaten to execute a kitten or inject it with a uh, lethal dose. I think it was injected with a lethal dose of a tumor causing drug if uh, if she didn't uh, cooperate and use her psionic powers. So, you know, she doesn't have much to go on as far as she doesn't have much to go on as far as remembering her humanity goes. Her only contact with humanity at this point, or the thing that she'd be most likely to see as contact with humanity at this point would probably be Raina. Um, but to be honest, she hasn't really known Raina for long. So even if she hadn't been like super altered by the Zerg to be just completely bound to the Overmind, uh, she wouldn't really have much uh, emotional reason aside from being human to protect all the humans in the Cthulhu sector. Oh yes, they bleed, and so do you. That's in Snare. It's basically a splash slow. And we're just gonna kill all these Marines, and let's uh, rescue these Zerglings. Hey look, a thing I can step on. There we go. So let's head round here and rescue these Zerglings. Yes. What is it now? Oh, I already have rescued these Zerglings, it looks like. 
I probably shouldn't have used the ensnare ability there. It was probably a little bit greedy. Well, not greedy, but it was probably a bit stupid to do it there. It was just a waste of 75 energy, to be fair. Um, now I'm going to... Oh, turrets. Yeah, she hated these things when she was human. At least now she can take them down herself. I'm just going to slap these scientists. And I think I'm going to eat a couple of these Zerglings just to kill. I'll show you what Consume does. Ugh, turrets. But these are 3-3 three, three upgraded Zerglings, so with all the abilities. So, yeah, they're pretty hardcore when it comes to that. And we'll unburrow our guys. I just had them burrow just to stay out of the way, basically, so I wouldn't accidentally move them into Kerrigan's line of sight. And this is what Consume does. It... Yep, kills an enemy and Kerrigan regains 50 energy. Uh, again, it makes this go a little bit quicker, but it's not strictly necessary. So, let's get moving after my army figures out how to get up a ramp. Which could take some time, so I'll just leave them to it. Yes. Uh, borrow those guys and Kerrigan can go on alone. Oh boy. No good, no good. Kill the detectors. Kill the detectors or Kerrigan is going to go down here and we don't want that. Nah, you can't see me. Bang. Line up, boys. I really shouldn't have said that, should I? But hey, whatever. It's innuendo time with Boomer. Obviously, Kerrigan needs to work on our love tap here. Bang. Don't really want to be making uh, people explode like that. But hey, let's get a moving. Big, wide, open area. Why do I feel exposed here a little bit, really? Oh, well. I can't go through this door. It's locked. You know, she can one-shot a town like, doors. No, 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 no. Ooh, fire bats. You know, these things which caused me such annoyance in the last mission. Die. Many fire bats. Lots of fire bats. More observant of you will also have noticed that Kerrigan has gained uh, health regeneration. You'll notice her health is just ticking up gradually. So, you know, health regeneration, energy regeneration. She's extremely sturdy. Well, this looks like an interesting situation. Let's put money on that. Ah, so that's what's seeing me. Okay, so let's kill these. Okay, so it's time for the Kerrigan love tap again. Really should have put more detectors up here in that trap, guys. Might have worked a lot better for you. Security cameras activated. Okay, so we found a teleporter and we've unlocked all the doors. Excellent. However, since Kerrigan's running ridiculously low on energy here, I think that we're going to stop for a little bit and then we'll uh, regain it once her health and energy is yes. back at full. And we are now going to head in. Yeah, into here seems okay. I'm just looking for that teleporter, basically, just seeing how we're going. What is it now? 
Now then, this teleporter and I are going to have a chat at some point because... Well, it's more pathfinding issues, isn't it? Let's face it. And look, Kerrigan magically heals. Magic heals. Fire bats, huh? Good job she has magic heals, I guess. And here's the teleporter. I'm listening. But you'll notice on the pathfinding, Kerrigan's just heading towards the... Because I'm not too sure... That I don't think that characters are bound by the... They're not bound by the 8 degrees of movement. This isn't Diablo 1. Um, but for some reason, she just seems to gravitate towards the... Uh, you know, she just seems to gravitate a little bit towards the teleporter. And let's get everyone into the top. Where are you going, Hunter Killer? Honestly. Right, get in there. There you go. Okay, everyone, have a look. Carrot. Well, you guys figure that out while I have a word with Kerrigan. Where are you going? Get back here. Yeah, teleporter. Get in it. What? Why the hell are you going down there? This way. Teleporter. In it. Good. And you. Right, fine. Okay. Uh, so head over there. Women! Honestly, get back on that teleporter. Get thine ass down. Oh, no, no, no. Why did I do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I took her back here. Okay, right, so we're gonna... What are you... No, no, get away from that teleporter. Kerrigan, you are not allowed near any teleporters for the rest of the time that I am with you. You're just drunk. That's, just, that's all I can say. You are just drunk. I right, just got one more thing to deal with here. couple more things. Let's just uh, add to Kerrigan's kill count. Uh, this last bit, I'm not going to go out with Kerrigan. She probably could take it alone if she was just uh, if she was at full health but I'm just not willing to wait that long. I have eight completely upgraded Zerglings and two Hunter Killers. Sorry, nine completely upgraded Zerglings, two Hunter Killers and Kerrigan. I'm just going to charge this last area. Uh, the last area is something like four or five ghosts. Yes. Yeah, five ghosts. Uh, so if you can't get up the ramp and you get blocked, uh, these guys can do damage to you pretty quickly. Uh, but I'm basically just running the Zerglings up the ramp. And that will be more than enough to take down this little entourage. So Kerrigan can now access the supercomputer and yes. we are done with this mission. And next time Kerrigan gets to take out some vengeance on the Protoss. Cerebrate, I have located the records I sought. We have everything we need here. Yeah, Kerrigan, you can thank me later and my orders still stand. You don't go anywhere near teleporters for the rest of this game. You understand me? Good. See you next time, guys.